Urinary tract infections can be of two types. One are the lower UTIs and the other is upper UTIs. The lower form is more common and mainly affects the urethra and the bladder, while the upper UTIs are less common and will involve the kidney tissue that is pyronephritis and also the ureters. UTIs can be caused by bacterial, viral or fungal infiltration. The most common bacterial causes are by the gram-negative bacteria that is E. coli, Proteus, Klebsiella, Pseudomonas and Enterobacter while the gram-positive causes can be Staph, uh, Saprophyticus and Enterococcus. Now the drugs that are used in urinary tract infections are also known as urinary antiseptics. They are of two types, one that will actually deal with the microbe and are antimicrobials while the other will be analgesic and will relieve the pain that is associated with uh, UTIs, suprapubic pain it is actually. The antimicrobials that uh, can be used are methanamine, nitrofurantoin, sulfonamides and trimethoprim and also fluoroquinolones as we just discussed in the previous video. Now, I haven't mentioned fluoroquinolones here, but you need to remember them as well. First, methanamine is a prodrug. In acidic pH, what happens is that it will be hydrolyzed into ammonia and formaldehyde. Now, formaldehyde is the active or antiseptic that we uh, need to be uh, present in the urinary tract. What it will do is it will inhibit both, both the gram-positive and gram-negative organisms and have a bactericidal activity. But it is ineffective against Proteus because we know that Proteus is urease positive and what it does is it converts urea into ammonia so it will make the urine alkaline and thus this drug will not work which uh, works best at acidic pH. It is also given in the form of enteric coated tablets because if uh, it is not uh, done so then it will be converted into formaldehyde and ammonia in the stomach which we do not want and one uh, side effect is that it should not be given in patients with hepatic insufficiency because we know that ammonia is produced and ammonia needs to be metabolized in the liver second is nitrofurantoin it is a bacteriostatic drug it works best in acidic pH and it can be used in prophylaxis as well. What it does is it will make the urine brown so it can alarm the patient but the patient needs to be counseled and told that it's okay. It can be associated with hypersensitivity reactions and they can manifest as a fever, leukopenia, anemia, cholestatic jaundice, acute pneumonitis and rarely polyneuropathy. This is neuropathy not nephropathy. Uh, now, these are important side effects that you need to remember and they are very real, trust me. Now, next are sulfonamides and trimethoprim. We've already discussed these drugs, but uh, one point that I need you to, to remember is to tell the patient to increase his or her uh, water intake because we've already mentioned in the side effects of sulfonamides that it can cause uh, crystal urea when the urine is concentrated and also kidney stone-like condition. The analgesic that can be used is phenazopyridine. It is not antimicrobial, it is an analgesic and it will actually relieve the suprapubic pain and burning agency and frequency of the urination that is associated with UTIs. And what it will do is it will make the uh, urine orange red, which is harmless, but the patient needs to be counseled for this as well. It can cause nausea and vomiting.